This is the HP Omen 16. It's a 16 inch laptop that is made for gaming, content creation, or high intensity applications like design and rendering. I do wanna thank AMD for sponsoring this video by sending me this laptop out to check out and I'm giving you my honest opinions. Um, they're not previewing this content before the video goes live or anything like that. Um, this is mainly just for me to make this video for you guys. Without further ado, let's dive into it. For HP, Omen is their high performance line. For laptops, they come in four different main configurations and then from there you can customize things further. The version that I have is the AMD Ryzen 7 5800H clocked at 4.4 gigahertz with the AMD Radeon RX 6600M 8 gigabyte. We also have 16 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte M.2, and a 16.1 QHD 165 hertz, three millisecond response time display. This computer also taps into two pieces of technology that AMD uses. This is AMD Smart Shift and AMD Smart Access. Now to simplify what the Smart Shift does, it moves power depending on what component needs it. And what that does, that increases performance when you actually need it the most. AMD is quoted at 14% more power with it on compared to with it off. And that's something that was on by default when I got the laptop and I kept it on because I wanted the best possible performance. If you do wanna learn more about the Smart Shift and Smart Access, you can check that out by using the links down below. But it's something that is on and it runs in the background and you don't really have to worry about it. The first thing that catches my eye about this laptop, it has to be its minimal design for it to be a gaming laptop. You know, typically with gaming laptops, you see everything's RGB, tons of accent colors, this thing looks like a spaceship. This right here, just kind of a classic design, which doesn't scream, I'm a hardcore gamer, when you have this laptop at a coffee shop or anything like that. The HP Omen is just very straightforward, minimal. And when I say minimal, I don't mean boring. It has a lot of little cool things that, in my opinion, makes this laptop look pretty good. Now, once we get a little bit closer, then you start to see what exactly I mean. So you have this all aluminum keyboard and palm rest. It's pretty comfortable. It is slightly raised a little bit compared to the keyboard, which for me gives me a better angle when typing. Now, if there is a drawback, and this is pretty much every laptop, the trackpad gets fingerprints on it pretty quickly, but it's nothing out of the ordinary, something you can definitely wipe up. During my month long usage, the keys stayed pretty clean. I didn't find myself having to wipe it down as you do with some other keyboards. Now, speaking of the keyboard, I love the trap that these keys have and the spacing between the keys. I think the layout is well thought out. Now we're gonna revisit the hub a little bit later in the video because it does a few more things besides that. Admittedly, I couldn't find the power button because the power button is located between F12 and delete. I'm so used to it being in the corner and I think they did this to save on size and keep everything kind of compressed, which I do appreciate, but that was sort of one weird thing for me starting off. Above the keyboard, you have a set of grills and the assumption is that these are gonna be speaker grills. However, they're just part of the design. The actual speakers are located here which is to the sides of the trackpad. So under here and under here. And the audio is not shooting towards you directly. So when I'm playing a game like Overwatch, when there's a lot of things going on and characters talking, it sounds like I have more soundstage. It sounds more wide just because it's shooting out to the side. Now, obviously this is just a laptop. It's not a full cinema with huge speakers. So you're not gonna have that bass and that rattle and, and things like that. Now, admittedly, my expectations were pretty low. Laptop speakers generally don't sound great and these sound decent. Like I was able to play games with it and I was very comfortable with it and I was able to hear around me. As I discussed earlier, the storage on this machine is a one terabyte M.2 SSD. And then if we take a look at read and write speeds on Crystal Mark, we land at these numbers. Now for me, this laptop is gonna be used primarily for gaming, but I had to render some video to kind of see what we're looking at. So I launched the latest version of Premiere to see how well this renders. I imported Sony footage, A7 S3 4.2.2, and then I rendered out a 10 minute video and it only took five minutes to complete. So for me, I'm not a fan of preloaded software that comes on computers, but you know, every computer you buy is gonna have preloaded software. And for the most part, some of that stuff I may eventually remove, but I will say this laptop did come with some software that I found very useful. 
the HP Omen Gaming Hub does have a lot of unique features. Now, one thing I like about it is the game launcher. So as you know, as you play on PC, there's like seven different launchers that you need to, to play a game. You have, you have Blizzard over here, you have Steam over here. This puts everything in one spot, which makes things a whole lot easier for me. And then we also have AMD software that is included with this computer. And this right here gives you all the statistics that you may need when it comes to gaming. Detailed graphical tweaks to get the best possible performance. You get all those things and it also allows you to update your drivers easily just by one click. You don't have to go out to the website or anything like that. All right, let's talk about gaming. I did keep the game on the recommended settings for benchmarks, but if I was able to hit that 60 frames per second, then I moved the settings up to kind of see how far I can go until I start taxing the system. I use AMD's Radeon software to ensure I have the latest drivers. So let's talk about Halo. Halo recommended medium settings at 1080p resolution. When I was playing campaign mode, I was getting 66 frames per second on average. When playing multiplayer with six people on the map, I was getting 65 frames per second on average. And then when I was playing Big Team Battle, which is a much bigger map and more people, I was averaging 57 frames per second. Overwatch, and I know it's an older game, but it's still played competitively and I like the game. I knew this laptop wouldn't have an issue playing this game and thus the game defaulted at ultra settings. Ultra settings, I was averaging 73 frames per second and I often saw it hit to 80 or 90 depending on what was happening on the map. I did move the game to QHD resolution to see if I can stay over 60 frames per second, and it did at 62 frames per second. God of War defaulted to original, and under original settings, I was nearly at 90 frames per second, and so I decided to move it over to high. With high, I ended up at 71 frames per second. Now when I moved the settings over to Ultra, I was at 55 frames per second, and this was pretty much locked and stable while playing the game, even during some of the intense fighting that happens in this game. I found the perfect settings to be high at 1440p resolution. That netted me around 60 frames per second. It was pretty stable, but it also gave me that high resolution where the game looked really good. Rocket League, I was over 140 frames per second, and the resolution was at 1080p. I even moved it to QHD and I was at around 80 to 90 frames per second, depending on what's happening on the screen. And that right there is solid. Rocket League isn't a super taxing game, so no surprises here. But once again, it's a game that I love to play and it's very competitive. The last two games are AAA titles that are expecting you to have a beefy machine. They're not really expecting a laptop, but I really wanted this laptop to push its limits to see what it actually can play. So no surprises here. We're talking about Call of Duty Warzone and we're also talking about Battlefield. So with Warzone, I played Plunder and I also played Resurgence on medium settings at 1080p and I was at 33 frames per second. Lowering everything down to the lowest settings, we landed at 51 frames per second. On Battlefield media settings, I was hovering around 54 frames per second and then moving it to low, I was comfortably in the mid 60s. So rounding up this video, we do have to talk about battery life. You know, with gaming laptops, battery life isn't a selling point. And when it comes to gaming, battery life is not gonna be great. I found myself getting around two hours to three hours of gaming on this laptop, depending on what game I was playing. And then when you unplug the laptop, it goes to battery saver mode and you're not getting the full power. So you had to adjust it to go back to the standard mode. And obviously when you're talking about gaming, you're taxing the system out and that makes sense. Now, if you're on battery saver mode and you're just working, you can get a solid workday out of it. You can get about six hours of normal usage. That includes web pages, um, documents, listening to music in the background, maybe a couple of YouTube videos. Um, I found myself at around five to six hours, which is kind of like a standard day if you are using it away, like at a coffee shop or something like that. So anyways, guys, that is the HP Omen 16. Once again, a big thanks to AMD sending this out, letting me check it out and make a video for you guys. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. This is Kevin the Tech Ninja. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.